the wonderful thing about Chobe National Park, it's not a fenced park. It, it's, it's just part of a wonderful wildlife resource of about 80,000 square kilometers. It's a very special place, tremendous amount of, of wildlife, it's absolutely magic stuff. And Chobe Game Lodge on the Chobe River here is right in the middle of all of that. Guests are always very happy upon arrival here. Arriving in a bush like this, they don't usually expect uh, finding a place like this one. They always feel so thrilled. Game Lodge, we actually just work as one team, one family, you know. We try to uh, make sure that, you know, we, we give that uh, a service uh, to, uh, to, to make our guests happy. Now, it's not an easy uh, job, but we really try our, our best. I'm a people's person, you know. This is what I enjoy most in my job. I like or enjoy meeting people com coming from different places. You know, we're very fortunate with Chobe Game Lodge. It was um, originally built in 1972, and it is the only permanent structure allowed within the Chobe National Park. But with that unique has come tremendous responsibilities, our responsibilities to the environment and minimize our impact on the environment. This is quite a challenging environment, and it's quite a rewarding environment to work in. It's our quest to have a minimal impact on our very sensitive environment that we live in. We um, have taken it upon ourselves to introduce these sustainable recycling, reuse, reducing initiatives. And uh, we, we cultivate a passion with all our staff members. Everybody takes part in it and it's one big team effort. And it's um, quite nice to actually over time see how things grow around you and how things come together and actually physically see progress. It's, it's very rewarding. What makes Chobe Game Lodge uh, unique, most unique, is its location. It's the only lodge situated in the park, the Chobe National Park. My name is Ishmael Mohamisi and I've lived all my life here in the Chobe district and um, I joined the Chobe Game Lodge in the early 90s. To be a guide is not like you just get a license and then you start guiding just like that. It takes a lot of time and effort and, and put your, your own act together to become a proper professional guide. We have a lot of women who are interested in this uh, industry but many of them they don't have any opportunity to be hired by any two operators so we came up and say why don't we just support this motion uh, we can do it chubby game lodge you are the only lodge which we have females guides throughout the country i'm working at chubby game lodge as one of the chubby angels being a woman doing this job to me this is an empowerment i know i can do it and I really believe in this, so this is girl power. As a guide, one, I'm an entertainer. Two, I'm an educator. It's really important to know nature, because uh, we, we have to, to have a society which is responsible, because this is the future for our children. A visit to, to Botswana is not really complete without a visit to the Chobe because it's such a special system on the Chobe River itself. A tremendous amount of time and effort has gone into the, into the training of the staff and so people feel like they've, they've really come into a, into a family, a large family, rather than they simply just paying guests at a game lodge. And I still believe that um, even the guests when they travel, what makes them to remember the area? It won't be the building, it's the people, which are the guides, the waiters, 
the management, all general staff. It's the people who makes the game noise special. It's not the building itself, let me put it that way. We do have clients coming back here, which uh, simply shows to us that you know they, they, they love the place. And there's nothing I enjoy like a guest departing and saying I'll be right back because of the enjoyment that I had at Chobie Game Launch. <laughs>